Hi, my name is Tracy Coleman. I work with the 4-H program in Lancaster County. This is my 11th year of coordinating the Clover College program, and every year we try to grow it. Um, this year we have 49 workshops. Last year we had 46. Last year we had 686 youth who attended the workshops and well over nearly 70 presenters and helpers who volunteered. Our volunteers range from business people to extension staff. We also have teens who come um, and volunteer their time. Former, well, they're still 4-H members, but they were a part of the Clover College program when they were younger. Um, the great thing about, I think anyway, about these, these programs and these workshops is that they're all hands-on, they're fun, they're open for youth age 6 and up, and the youth just have a great time. We have phone calls starting in January when you know they can begin registering. They learn so much, they just have a blast. Through evaluation, we have learned that the youth do indeed learn a lot. They, um, we, we've had entomology presented in, in a three-day workshop, and we've had youth who come for, out of that program wanting to be entomologists when they grow up. Um, it's great for career development as far as them exploring different, different ideas and things that they can do when they, they are grown up. And the parents just, gosh, we have phone calls and they just they write incredible things about how much the kids learn and, and how much fun they had because that's important too. Clover College gives my children an opportunity to take things that I don't feel like I can teach them at home. It is so nice to be able to come into a classroom, to have a teacher who knows what they're doing to teach my children, and things that um, they get exposed to a lot of different activities that I don't know very much about or I don't feel like I have time to, to um, gather the supplies and they're just being exposed to a lot of different projects um, and I think it's just a great opportunity for learning. Uh, this is the garbage getters class. And what did you do here? Um, we've been learning about worms and their habitat <coughs> um, and their habits and what they eat and stuff. Um, and also how they turn um, food and garbage and stuff like that into um, into compost and fertilizer for plants. And we've been making worm bins um, to house the worms. Okay, you're in the Clover Kids class. What did you do today? We made pancakes right now, and we did five minutes. Ladybug with our Okay. Next one. Flower. I think my favorite thing was was the animal part when we were learning about the animals and stuff. What's your favorite animal? The weasel. Did you learn anything about the weasel? Well, they're small and they are really ferocious though. My degree was Spanish and I thought that it might be something that the kids would enjoy learning. And so we did an hour of Spanish and then we incorporated some crafts and some cooking into the class and it worked out well. Do you think the kids enjoyed your class? I do and um, today is the day after and I've had a lot of kids coming up to me saying Buenas tardes Senora Griff so I know that they definitely caught um, quite a bit actually. Now up here you have your up arrow and your down arrow. See that that's marked up and down? So I want you to go down like twice and you're it's gonna mark these N40 all that kind of stuff down there it's gonna look like that that's gonna be good. I'm in um, GPS basics and what does GPS stand for global positioning system what is a GPS good for for using it for 
to um, find geocaches, it coordinates where you are and what direction you need to go how far away you are. Um, I'm Marty Crookshank. I'm with the Lancaster County 4-H Horse Program. I have helped with Clover College now I think for five summers and I think it is the most incredible opportunity for kids. It's learning on so many levels. The, you know, the, we've got the trailer there, we've got the powerful pickup pole in the trailer, you know, the, the horse, they get to feel the horse, they get to feel the muscles, they get to watch the horse eat, you know, they're learning what a horse eats without having to memorize, without having to read it in a book. They get to interact, they get to get on the horse, we talk it both English and Western, they get a feel for a, for a working saddle, for an inventing saddle. It's, you know, it's just so many different levels. Okay, what class have you been helping with? Um, I helped with uh, What's the Point, which is embroidery, and Can't Raise the Fabric, which is where uh, you make a design and then you put paint on it and, and then you peel the stuff off the fabric and you have a design. Do you like helping, teaching, or would yeah. you rather take the classes? Um, well, I take the classes and help. Does anybody else need help? Yes. Okay, I am Jessie, and this is my fourth year at helping with Clover College. And one thing that I've noticed over the years with the kids is that it never gets old getting to listen to them after the classes, talk about how much fun they've had, and, and they're so excited that they've actually learned something, and like in the, the bug collecting and the GPS classes that the kids really enjoy um, learning hands-on things that they can use in a everyday setting or in the real world, but um, it's just fun to watch them have a good time and meet new friends and make fun things.